What's up my dude? So if you guys are watching this video, the day that it's uploaded, guess what? My birthday is in one day. I'm turning 20 in one day. November 13th, that's when I turn 20. So pretty hyped on that. And today I got not only one box, but two. One from Funky Threads and one from 33 Skateboards. And I bet you guys are just expecting a normal unboxing video from me. And yeah, like, come on bro, what's your birthday? Just some box of stuff. But no, today I'm gonna tell you guys a story of why I seriously appreciate 33 Skateboards and Funky Threads to the fullest. Why I seriously love these guys. And you're, and you're just saying to yourself like, come on dude, you know why? you love them they give you free stuff no but seriously more than that these guys have seriously helped me out through so much and today I'm gonna explain some of that so here we go I'm gonna start off with the funky threads box this little shoot box here I actually bought this from Jerome so yeah if you guys want to check it out check out funky threads and maybe purchase some stuff for yourself they're always posting new pictures of their merchandise on their Facebook page so yeah that's always in the description down below and yeah that's seriously what I did I called up funky threads they set some stuff aside for me I sent Jerome an e-transfer you know some money and then boom here came this box and and I seriously do not know what's in it. I asked specifically for some things, but I do not know what Jerome gives me. He never like really tells me what he's gonna give me. It's always a surprise. That's why I'm so stoked. Whenever I buy, like give Jerome money to send me some stuff or like whenever I get a box from Funky Threads in general, I'm always hyped to see what's gonna be in it. So let's start this off and let's also kick off a story about Funky Threads. So when I got sponsored by Funky Threads, it was seriously like a year and a half ago. And I honestly never talked to Jerome before in my life. And if you guys don't know, Jerome's actually the shop owner, the manager of Funky Threads the boss man himself so I never really talked to Jerome in my life before so you know the first time I met him it was kind of scary for me I never really knew what to expect but I remember the first time we ever met it was it was just good vibes you know you know whenever you meet someone and you get that feeling that you're just gonna be like good friends you know there's just you get that vibe you know that's instantly how I felt with Jerome and during that last year we, we seriously just ended up talking more and more like every single week and you know I eventually came to know Jerome more than just a sponsor but as a friend you know as a, as a part of my family you know as a part of his family and you know it's kind of hard to explain what Jerome actually did for me at the start when I first got sponsored but it actually came so clear to me about nine months ago just how much Jerome has actually done for me and you know almost every single thing you do in life eventually eventually if you think hard enough if you think about your past your steps that you've taken you could almost retrace exactly what happened to you you know that exact path that got you to where you are now and that's kind of what I want to share with you guys about funky threads okay so first off we got some sweatpants pretty neat pretty sure these are the RDS ones pretty cool pretty cool perfect all right so yeah we got some rds sweatpants pretty dang awesome pretty cozy gonna keep me warm in the winter time especially skateboarding out in the minus however below it's gonna be but you know i'm just gonna skip a bunch of the story and pretty much tell you guys the most important thing that drums ever done for me a lot of you guys know that my brother actually passed away around eight months ago now and you know after that happened i didn't really want to talk to anyone but the first person i talked to besides my actual family was jerome and it was easy for me to talk to him because we spent so much time talking and you know I'd, I'd go to the pod which is only an hour away to go see him you know talk to him just to get some insight on life you know because Jerome knows so much and it's actually crazy what you can learn from the guy just just by being around him for 20 minutes and you know when I went to talk to Jerome after my brother passed away he didn't really say much but like what are you supposed to say what are you supposed to say to someone who just lost their brother but Jerome did whatever he could to support me he actually even sent me a hundred dollar jacket just to wear to my brother's funeral and you know I may forget the little text messages that he said to me at the time but whatever you said to me surely helped me a lot and I truly appreciate that to the fullest so thank you so much Jerome I know I've said this to you in text messages before but man you seriously helped me out so much it's, it's crazy all right boom I know I'll put this one away so yeah we got the primitive t-shirt I'm seriously so stoked on this I like the sleek plain look got the P right there for primitive and boom this is actually the Hufong primitive collab t-shirt so yeah they actually made some hot sauce bottles with this and they're actually at the skate shops a lot of skate shops have them and it's pretty cool pretty cool pretty 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 cool pretty cool oh Oh my gosh, yes. We got BB-8 socks. Yes, I'm gonna... Hold on. So truth be told, I honestly haven't worn these other socks. If you guys seen the last unboxing video I did from Funky Threads, I honestly, yeah, I, I haven't worn these once, you know? I've kind of been saving them for important times because my brother, he was a big fan of Darth Vader. So, you know, I'm just kind of tr trying to carry on the tradition, you know? And I thought I'd get the CP-30 with the R2-D2 sock collab because, you know, they're buddies, they're best friends. I dig it. But now, I got BB-8 from Force Awakens. Seriously, such a great movie. If you guys haven't watched Star Wars The Force Awakens, if you guys haven't watched Star Wars in general, watch them all. Watch them from episode one to episode The Force Awakens because you guys are seriously gonna enjoy it. I know I haven't watched Star Wars since I was a kid, but after my brother told me to watch that stuff, I seriously just, I did it and I loved it, you know? Yeah. And it actually taught me a life lesson myself and maybe it could for you guys too. So that's everything from Funky Threads. I seriously couldn't thank you enough for what you do for me, the things that you give me, the things that you teach me in life and man, 
man. Just just keep doing you, Jerome. I know that Punky Threads will someday make it big. Trust me. So thank you again, Jerome. And moving on to 33 Skateboards. So if you guys didn't watch my video about three videos ago, 33 Skateboards actually hosted a 360 Shove It competition on Instagram. So I entered that stuff, and uh, you know what? I want a skateboard. So I'm super stoked on this, and couldn't be more thankful to have another skateboard from these guys. I love supporting them. I love their, the way their stuff looks. You know, I'm not wearing anything right now. Actually, I am. 33 Beanie. I wear that all the time. So yeah, super stoked on these guys. Super stoked on everything they do. And um, I'm going to actually tell you guys a story about 33 as well. Ooh. So 33 actually made their own hardware. I'm super stoked on this. Actually, it's so good. Like, look at this packaging. Stainless steel mounting hardware, 7 eighths Allen head bolts. Allen key is the best. I'm definitely going to be using these. It comes with a sticker. Thank you for supporting local skateboarding on the back. Damn, this packaging is tight. Shout out to Graham Constant for making this packaging. I know it was you, Graham, because you always make stuff. So uh, keep killing it, dude. So anyways, a quick story about 33 skateboards. So, so the first time Thomas, the owner, ever sent me something, I never actually talked to him before either. It was kind of like Jerome. But there was a chance that I actually got to meet this guy. And I honestly couldn't be more grateful for those times. So it was about two or three months after my brother passed away. And Funky Threads, they were hosting their annual skate competition in the Palm Manitoba. And I honestly don't know why I was in Flim Flam at the time. I'm pretty sure I still lived in Prince Albert. But my buddy Shane McNevin, he actually came and picked me up all the way from Thompson, which is like a four hour drive, and actually let me stay with him for the whole weekend while we skated this competition. And while we were there, there was so many good times to have, and we seriously had them. I remember the day of the competition, I, I seen Thomas and the 33 dudes, and I never even met half of the 33 dudes before. I only met Graham before, and I, I never even knew who most of these people were. And I remember approaching Thomas and like talking to him, and he was hella cool. Like, he was seriously one of the coolest people I ever talked to, you know? And same with the rest of the 33 guys. Like, they were so welcoming to me. Like, you know, Dave Beach, show to you, man. Tyson, show to you. Graham, everyone who was there. It was seriously, it was awesome. And I couldn't be more thankful for times like that because, you know, those times where I was actually, I was down and I was depressed. People like that, people like my homies, people like my family. They seriously helped me out so much, man. And couldn't be more thankful for that, you know? So, got an 8-inch skateboard. Some Jessup grip tape because I don't have grip tape. I never actually rode Jessup in a really long time. I'm usually a mob guy. This seems kind of like, kind of slippery, but let me know what kind of grip tape you guys ride. I know when I was growing up, I always used to ride Grizzly grip tape. I was a huge supporter of Grizzly at the time, but after I got sponsored, I just kind of cut it down and Jerome would just send me like four sheets of mob grip tape at a time. So yeah, that was kind of just what I'm used to, you know? All right guys, time to reveal this deck. You guys ready? The blue 33 skateboard deck. I'm super stoked on this. They just, they look so good, they, especially in the camera. Like, look at that. So good. And thanks again to Funky Threads, Jerome, Thomas, 33 skateboards for all this stuff. I seriously appreciate it so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Turning 20 in one day. Love you guys. And I'll see you guys at the skate park. Right now I'm here alone at the skate park at the quarter pipe just like last video and today I'm going to do five of my favorite quarter pipe tricks for you guys so I hope you guys enjoy. Let's do this. Number one is pretty ordinary, just the regular feeble. Alright so number two is like a fakie backside pivot to rock and then front side pivot. Oh, let's do this. Alright so this trick's a nollie front side disaster. Alright so this next one's a tail stall backside reverb. Alright guys, so the last trick is definitely one of my favorite tricks to do on a mini ramp. It's called the blunt to rock to fakie. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed those five tricks. Gonna head it back home and finish off this video. Alright my dude, so I hope you guys enjoyed the unboxing video and especially the skate session afterwards. And believe it or not, I actually took a crazy slam trying that blunt rock to fakie. Check it out. <laughs> Them battle cries though, right? Actually, you know what, scratch that. It actually sounds like if you're going to get into a hot bath after a nice long day, and the bath is just a little bit too hot, so you're just like, oh. <sighs> when you get in, just because I don't know why that people do that, but that's exactly what it sounds like. I just seriously can't get over how I bailed that hard off that blunt rock to fakie. Like I literally ate it, man. That was terrible. But anyways, thanks a lot for watching, guys. Sorry I'm talking a little bit quiet during this outro, but my parents are actually sleeping right now, so 
I'm trying to be a little bit generous. And if you guys could do the same, be a little bit generous for your boy, you know what I'm saying? Go down there, smash that like button, give it a big thumbs up, leave me a comment down in the comment section below. We can chat, we can talk about whatever you guys want. If you're down, feel free to share this video with your family and friends. Everybody wants to check out some cool stuff on YouTube sometimes, so yeah. Maybe you can help one of your friends survive from being bored. I don't know, just do it up. And if you guys haven't subscribed already, then make sure to do that. I try and post a video like two to three times a week. I'm trying to post them a lot more often now though, because I actually feel like you guys are really enjoying these videos. So if you watch this video up to this point, let me know in a comment down below what was your favorite part of this video, what was your favorite part of one of my other videos. Let me know in the comments down below and I'll make sure to do more of that. Or even if you guys have a trick suggestion, then let me know in the comments down below and I'll do it up one of these days when I'm skateboarding. So thanks again for watching guys and you know what? Today, I'm going to change it up. I hope you guys had a great day. Peace.